Alan? Well, I'm here at the Maine Forest and Logging Museum, and because of the uh, pandemic and the uh, social distancing rules, uh, most, a lot of, most of the buildings are closed, uh, but the grounds are still open to visitors. And I heard that there's some signs around that uh, you can scan with your phone and get some information. We'll have to check those out and see where they are and what kind of info we can get. signs right there. Let's check this out. I'll just take my camera and hit scan. Oh, look at that right there. And a video comes up. Now how cool is that? That's pretty neat. You know, these people are pretty clever. There's a technology right here. So even though the museum's closed, and uh, I can only walk around the grounds, I can find out all about the cool stuff that's here. the new uh, clapboard mill. Uh, the structure went up last year. It's still a work in progress. Uh, special thanks to the University of Maine Construction Technology students for their hard work. Hopefully they'll be back this year to help uh, finish things up. So this is a really interesting mill again. It's, it's a work in progress. So we've got a lathe. What this was do is we turn uh, your logs down so they're a uniform uh, diameter, uniform length. And then over here, we've got the actual clapboard mill itself. So your log would get clamped in, and as this would, as it would, uh, the saw would go back and forth, cutting slots, the log rotates, and then you break the clapboards up, which is pretty cool. And the whole system is powered by this John Deere engine, two-cylinder horizontal engine, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to be using to power it. So that's going to be pretty neat. So this is our uh, Hackett and Witham rotary sawmill that was made in Skowhegan, Maine back in the 1920s. It's fully functional. If you come here during uh, many of our events, you'll see it uh, sawing logs and uh, being put to work. Uh, here at the museum, we believe in hands-on and uh, actually having live demonstrations and having working machinery, working mills such as this is all part of that. Good. Oh, this is pretty cool. We've got another uh, sign right here at the end of the covered bridge. And this is about the Oliver Leonard's Mill, the recreation that we have here at the museum. So, you know what? At one time, there were like 2,000 water-powered mills such as this in the state of Maine, which is really, really cool. Uh, of course, the state of Maine was built on lumber. So, oh, yeah, look, we can scan this. Let's see what we got. Let's see, scan. And there it goes. Links me to a video. And how cool is that? That's really cool. <laughs> That's really neat. So even though you can't uh, access all the uh, all the buildings. And uh, right now we're not holding any events, not until later after the social distancing ends, but you can still learn about a lot of things here at the museum as you walk around, especially on a beautiful day like today.
afraid. So it's coming off a little. 